<clears throat> Hi all. Um, I will be covering chapter 5 on text mining and web mining today. Uh, this is the study guide for chapter 5. <clears throat> we will cover what is text mining, what are the different application areas of text mining, uh, some text mining popular terms, then we will talk about the tools, process and applications of text mining. Then we will have web mining, what is web mining and then three different types of web mining which is web content mining, web structure mining and web usage mining and then click stream analysis. This is our chapter 5 and I would walk you over chapter 5 uh, now. So let me pull up the PowerPoint slides for this chapter. Okay, so our first topic is uh, text mining. So we will see what is meant by text mining. Okay, text mining is basically the process of finding patterns or useful information from large amounts of unstructured data sources. By unstructured data sources, we mean um, the data can be in text, okay, uh, data can be in Word document, a PDF file, XML file, and so on. <clears throat> As opposed to unstructured data, structured data which data mining deals with, data mining which we covered in chapter 4 is the process of finding patterns from large amounts of structured data sources. So data mining deals with structured data and structured by structured data we mean data in databases. Okay, so data mining deals with structured data which is data in databases but text mining basically deals with unstructured data which will be like text okay text excerpts word files pdf files xml files etc so it first will take unstructured data and impose structure to that data okay and then it would find patterns or useful information from the large amounts of data so that's your text mining why is text mining important? Text mining is important because text mining, from text mining, a uh, lot of disciplines can benefit. For example, law, academic research, biology, medicine, etc., which produces lots of uh, text, they can benefit okay like benefits are from this rich text data environment like court orders in law research articles in academics quarterly reports in finance these are all text okay uh, medicine discharge summaries molecular interactions in biology patent file patent files in technology customer comments okay if you look at this site say amazon.com the customer comments how do you find out any information, useful information from that, that's text. And it's not in any database, it's just a text, okay? So unstructured data. So that's data, uh, sorry, text mine. Uh, we will talk about some of the application areas, applications of text mining. One is information extraction. Then there is topic tracking, summarization, categorization, clustering, concept linking, and question answering. 
okay so i'll go over one at a time information extraction sorry information extraction this is identification of key phrases and relationships within text so text mining we are dealing with unstructured data we are dealing with mainly text so information extraction means identify key phrases and relationships within the text topic tracking it's based on documents that a user views text mining can predict other documents of interest okay like for example i'm reading something it can also predict that these other documents i may find interesting so that's called topic tracking summarization it summarizes a document to save time on the part of the reader categorization categorization deals with identifying the main theme of the document and placing it in a predefined set of categories so it identifies the main theme of the document and place it in a category which has been predefined concept linking concept linking basically connects related documents by identify their by identifying their shared concepts did i talk about clustering i think i uh, skipped clustering clustering is as we have covered it before grouping similar documents without having a set of categories okay it's different from categorization categorization is finding out the theme and placing it in a predefined category but clustering is grouping similar documents without having a predefined set of categories and then finally question answering question answering is finding the best answer to a given question through pattern matching so these are some of the text mining application areas you can identify key phrases within text you can predict documents of interest to users you can summarize the document to save time for, for on the part of the reader you can identify the main theme of the document and place it in a predefined category you can uh, group similar documents together without having a preset category you can connect documents by identifying their shared concepts and you can find the best way to answer a given question through pattern matching that was our number 2 <clears throat> some text mining terms some of them we already know let's see like unstructured or semi structured data unstructured data is for example text it has non specified non specific format structured data is predefined format like database okay then corpus corpus is a large and structured set of text prepared for conducting knowledge discovery then terms a term is a single word or multi word phrase extracted directly from the corpus by natural language processing concepts are features generated from a collection of documents by statistical rule based or manual methods stemming stemming is the process of reducing inflected words to their base or root like the root for stemming would be stem stop words stop words are noise words they are filtered out prior to processing of text like you know the a to and all those kind of words <clears throat> synonyms and polysemes synonyms are identical meanings such as movie film motion picture they are mean the same and polysemes are also called homonyms they are spelled the same but they mean different such as bow it can be a weapon it can be a front of the ship it can be a belt it can be a hair bow tokenizing tokenizing a token is a block of text in a sentence 
and the assignment of meaning to blocks of text is called tokenizing. Then there is another term called term dictionary. It is a collection of terms specified to a narrow field. Word frequency is the number of times a word is found in a document. Part of speech tagging that is making up words in a text as nouns, verbs, adjectives, etc. Sorry, marking up, marking up of words. Part of speech tagging, okay. So, it is marking up words in a text as which are the nouns, which are the verbs, which are the adjectives, etc. Morphology that studies the in internal structure of words, term by document matrix, relationship between terms and documents, and singular value decomposition. This is a method to reduce the term by doc, term by doc matrix to a manageable size. We will look at uh, some of the text mining applications. Text mining applications, they, text mining is heavily used in marketing, in security, in medicine and in academics. In marketing, uh, they are used heavily for enabling better customer relationship management by analyzing customer comments, blogs, analyzing call center data. Security, it has found applications in deception detection. Medicine and biology, it has found application in identifying molecular interactions. Okay, and in ac academics, is becoming popular where text mining can help, you know, better retrieval of data. Also, in security, uh, we can do not only deception detection, uh, but we can identify the content of cell phone calls, faxes, emails, etc. So, in marketing, it is heavily used in enabling better customer relationship management by analyzing customer comments, blogs, call center data, which are mainly textual. In security applications, we can <clears throat> analyze the content of cell phone calls, faxes, emails, and also, you know, work on deception detection. In medicine, in medicine and biology, we identify molecular interactions. <coughs> and in academics, it's also be getting popular when text mining can help better retrieval of research data. <coughs> now we will look at the text mining process. Okay, in the text mining process, there are four things. One is the input, the other is the output. Then we have controls and we have mechanism. So these are the four things that acts, uh, that makes the process of text mining. Input is text, which is unstructured data, and also uh, structured data if it is available in the form of databases, if it is relevant and if it is available. So the data input is text, which is unstructured data, and also structured data if it is relevant and if it is available. Okay. Then what are some of the controls? Controls are limitations or constraints. Controls are constraints or limitations such as software hardware limitations, privacy issues and also difficulties related to the processing of text, uh, linguistic limitations, okay, difficulties related to the processing of text. These are the constraints. And then there are mechanism like tools and software tools and techniques available, domain expertise available and so on. All these things. Okay, we'll work toward extracting knowledge from available data sources and the output is from the process context-specific 
knowledge used for decision making. So we put in, look at the process again, unstructured data or structured data if it is relevant and available they go in. Some of the constraints that would work against it would be limitations, various kinds of limitations and then which the mechanisms which would help carry out the process would be the expertise, the tools and technologies and finally we should be able to extract knowledge from the data sources and what we get is context specific knowledge which will be used for decision making. The primary purpose of text mining is to process as you know unstructured or text data along with structured data if it is relevant and if it is available to extract meaningful and actionable patterns for better decision making. So basically we are up to better decision making by identifying patterns and we can identify patterns by analyzing unstructured and structured data under the constraint of several limitations and under the favor of several tools and technologies and domain expertise that are available. Some of the text mining tools that are available in the market. Some free tools are available from Rapid Miner, Gate, etc. Then you can, uh, some of the paid tools, commercial software tools would be uh, clearforest.com offers text analysis and visualization tools, Tableau. Tableau is a data visualization software, IBM Intelligent Miner Data Mining Suite that also includes data and text mining tools. So these are some of the tools that are available. Actually hundreds of software tools are available in the market for text mining. So this is about text mining. So text mining remember the purpose, the main purpose is to process unstructured or text data along with structured data to extract meaningful patterns for better decision making. Tools and technologies are available and then we also looked at some of the you know uh, application areas like information extraction, topic tracking, summarization, categorization, clustering, concept linking, question answering so on and so forth. We also looked at some of the text mining process, what is input, what is output, what are the constraints and what is the mechanism. We looked at some of the text mining terms and text mining applications. Now we will move on to web mining. Okay. Web mining, you all know that web is the largest repository of data. Data is in text, data is in HTML, data is in XML. There are several challenges in processing web data. It's too big, too complex, too dynamic, not specific to a domain. It has everything. Okay, web mining, which is also called web data mining, is the process of discovering intrinsic relationships from web data, which is textual which can be just links or usage. Okay, so web mining is the process of discovering intrinsic relationships from web data. Then what is web content mining? Web content mining is extraction of useful information from web pages, from web pages. Remember web data can be in the form of textual linkage or usage. So web content mining is basically extraction of useful information from web pages which is which are usually in HTML format. Okay, web crawlers, web crawlers are used to read through the content of a website automatically. So web crawlers are used to read through the content of a website automatically. Web structure mining, web structure mining is the process of extracting useful information from the links embedded in the web document. Web structure mining, okay. 
web structure mining is once again the process of extracting useful information from the links which are embedded in the web document and then what is web usage mining web usage mining is the extraction of useful information from the data generated through web page visits and transactions so web usage mining is the extraction of useful information from data generated through web page visits and transactions now three types of data are generated through web page visits okay three types of data are generated through web page visits now if you uh, have a web page generally the uh, the isp provider they provide you with a log file they give you access to a log file okay and from the log file you can find out who visited your profile for how long that person stayed okay which are the different pages the person visited so on and so forth then also uh, remember we were talking about the three types of data that are generated through web page visits one is logs okay another is user profiles you get to see information from the user profiles and also metadata such as usage data uh, page attributes etc now lastly we will talk about click stream analysis click stream analysis is analysis of the information collected by the web servers okay can help and it can help us better understand user behavior analysis of this data is called click stream analysis okay so basically uh, analysis of the information collected by web servers by which we can understand user behavior that means which how many users visited during which time okay uh, click stream analysis can help in several ways give let me give you an example okay it's useful for knowing when visitors access a site okay for example if a company knew that 70% of software downloads from its website occurred between 7 pm and 11 pm it could plan for better customer support and network bandwidth during those hours so click stream analysis help us in a lot of different ways because it tells us when the customer visit how long they stay in which time of the day they visit at which page they leave which page is most popular so on and so forth okay so click stream analysis helps us to understand usage behavior or user behavior and it analyzes the data uh, collected by the web server so within web mining we have talked about what is web mining okay web mining is the process of discovering relationships from web data okay which can be textual linkage or usage when we are extracting useful information from the content of the website from the web pages then it's web content mining when we are extracting useful information from the links within the documents then it is web structure mining and we when we are extracting useful information from gen, from data generated through web page visits and transactions we are doing web usage mining also you need to know what are web crawlers they used to read through the content of a website automatically and you also need to know what is click click stream analysis and this is our chapter 5